Alright guys, so I got a special fig to review for you. Uh, this is a fig called Suwadi, and it's my second earliest fig uh, this year of 2018. A lot of that has to do with the greenhouse and how uh, certain figs just earlier in the season don't need as much heat to trigger and to put out fruits. Um, my Azores Dark, which is right next to my Suwadi, also doesn't need a whole lot of heat to trigger itself into fruiting mode. And really shortly after the tree wakes up, uh, both of these varieties, they start putting out figs uh, with no pinching necessary, which is something that if you live here in the Northeast or a colder climate, pinching is a necessity. You know, I grafted this variety for the first time last year in the spring in the greenhouse. You know, I, I did videos of me filming myself uh, in the greenhouse grafting varieties, and this is one of the varieties that I grafted. It just, it fruited very early for me, even from a, a small graft. And the, the variety grew so well, um, it grew extremely well that I got two air layers off of it last year. We have it in a 10 gallon, we up potted it, because I really like this variety. I really like its early fruiting habit. Um, last year, this, this tree showed some really interesting fruiting habits as well in that in August, I believe it was, or even in September, uh, definitely in September, but I'm pretty sure in August as well, I ripened this variety in cooler, rainy conditions. We had about a week stretch of rain, uh, an unbelievable amount of rain in August, I think, last year. You guys can go back and see that video. I induced some figs. You know, I got like six or seven figs after I pinched it, and then it sent out two branches, one here, one over there, and now it's just been doing its thing, and it's been putting out more figs. I've been taking them off, put some air layers on for friends, and uh, this tree is just really setting itself up nicely for next year. It has another fig on it that's pretty ripe. But there's one over here that's kind of somewhat drying on the tree and it would have dried even further but it fell off very pretty fig um, you could tell that it's shriveled up a little bit it means it's it's dried a little bit on the tree the eye is not totally closed but it seems closed enough that nothing's going to bother it too much it holds up to the rain that's 100 percent true it holds up to the rain we've been getting so much rain here in the past couple days so for those reasons alone, I say this is a keeper, but let's taste it. Now this is a fig that looks pretty damn good. Here's all my organza bags that I was putting around the figs, and one by one, this tree dropped the figs prematurely. I've probably picked 10 figs off this tree that were not optimally ripe. Um, because last year, like I said, they were semi-drying on the tree in very rainy conditions, which is actually incredible. So this one here fell off, uh, just like the many others that have fallen off so far, the nine other figs. And none of them were perfect, but they were all still tasty. They had a bit of a nutty flavor to them. I would describe this fig here as a... A light berry taste it has a refreshing berry flavor to it it's not gonna blow your socks off with an intense flavor such as Italian 258 or black Madeira or Smith or you know maybe Azores dark this here doesn't have much intensity to it it's very refreshing you can eat many of these in one sitting um, last year when I had picked this fig at its perfect stage the fig was incredible. Uh, in my mind at that point, because of how well it performed, I think it was an immediate keeper for me. Uh, this fig this year hasn't gotten fully ripe, and you know it's not fully ripe because of the neck. It needs really, realistically, two weeks for this thing to swell on the tree, for this to be perfectly ripe. And as I said, the bags were preventing me from doing that. The camera was just getting too hot, so I had to move you guys.
but let's give this guy a taste test. I'm I'm uh, very surprised by how red this is. Hopefully you guys can get a good picture of this. Let me see if I can focus the camera even better. So quite remarkable how red this is this year. And usually when there's a red interior, as I was saying before I got cut off, uh, the red interior indicates a strong berry flavor. The darker the red, the more intense the berry flavor will be. Um, and last year, and and uh, even earlier figs of this year, the interior was never this red. So I'm interested to see now what this fig is going to taste like. Wow. All right, so this fig has changed. The flavor this year of this fig has changed. It's still very good. Um, it has some sweetness to it this year. Previous years, it was like a sugar. Yeah, it still is a little bit. So when I usually describe a light berry fig, guys, I think of um, usually a sugar fig, so like a Celeste or some kind of Brunswick or brown turkey that just kind of tastes like brown sugar a little bit. Combine that with the fig flavor of a melon, and then you add in a light berry flavor to it. Uh, but this year the berry flavor was stronger, and this year it also had a little bit of a honey taste. That was a very good fig. That was a really high quality fig, and I think what I'm, I mean, I knew this before, but any fig I can get to ripen, guys, in July, it's just going to be of an exceptional quality. You know, whether or not the variety itself is tasty, um, the quality itself of the fruit is just out of this world. So I've been very pleased with the figs here as of lately. And this variety down here, Suwati, is no exception. So. I think that one is like approaching 9 out of 10. Um, the second highest quality fig I've ever ripened, which is really cool. Second highest quality piece of fruit I've ever ripened, I think. So I'm very uh, pleased with it, but I think it's not just quite a 9 out of 10, but it's very close. Um, I think that one is an 8 out of 10. I think if it if it really ripened the way that I wanted and the neck turned fully black and the entire fig was even slightly shriveled, it would be a 9 out of 10, perhaps even a 10 out of 10. I don't know. But if I lived in a, in a, uh, a warmer climate, I think this fig is going to do really well for you because of just the conditions here have been mimicking that of California.